This is the device you would use to manually ventilate a patient should they need any more oxygen put into their lungs that maybe they aren't able to put in by themselves. And you'll find in hospitals that people are pumping these for hours on end, taking shifts just to keep somebody alive. So this is the Apollo BVM, which is our solution to this issue of constantly having to pump this thing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So what it has is two paddles here and they compress the bag at a certain rate and then they release the bag at a certain rate and we can control all that stuff with the control panel here. So I'll turn it on now and show you how it works. So here we have the uh, main screen which is going to tell you your tidal volume, your respiratory rate and your I to E ratio. We have a default setting that should work for about 80% of the patients but if you needed to change it for whatever reason you can do that here by turning this control button, pushing it down, changing it to the rate that you want, pressing it again to confirm. You can scroll up to confirm and run and press again. And you'll see it starts pumping in at a rate of one to three, your inspiratory to expiratory uh -huh. ratio. So and what's doing the most of the mechanical work here is these servo motors uh -huh. that we got off a, a hobby servo shop online. So they're basically for RC cars, model planes, things of that nature, but we've made it to where this is what's driving the whole thing here. This is the main component that that's doing all the bulk of the work and we, we made it very direct so there's as few parts as possible um, and by doing that we're able to keep the cost down, we're able to keep the reliability up. So if you look inside here we have two Arduinos, one is a master, one is a slave. Um, that kind of breaks up the computing power, it also helps to make sure that there's no interruptions between the actual motors moving. Um, it's just more of a redundancy thing. You'll find that a lot in medical equipment, uh, which is the other reason why we have two motors. In case one fails, one can still keep continuing to work. Even, even It may be hobbling along, but it still keeps somebody alive should that occasion arise. Um, it basically runs off a seven and a half volt you know, power supply, something you can find from just about anywhere. It's a very common uh, voltage and amperage rating. Um, you could apply batteries to this if you really wanted to. Uh, it wouldn't be that hard. Uh, if you needed to stop it for whatever reason, you have a handy stop button and at the end of the cycle it will stop so you can make any changes that you need to make. But if for whatever reason you needed to change something without stopping ventilation, we've put that in there as well as a feature. You would just press the button, change whatever you needed to change. Say I wanted to change the respiratory rate to 15. I would go to apply changes and now after the end of that cycle those changes would be applied. Uh, we have emergency stop button. That uh, kind of goes without saying. And I think that's about it. So I believe in the next coming weeks or so, what we're going to do is add some more safety features, maybe a few bug fixes. Uh, we'd like to cover up some of these pinch points here. Um, beyond that, there's not a whole lot of changes we feel like we need to make. Uh, we're kind of under the mantra that if you add too many bells and whistles, and that's just more things that can break down. So the simpler we can make it, the better.